Hey Vikes, I'm Carly. And I'm Erin, and you're watching SP TV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Let's go check out a Would You Rather segment with Sydney and Lauren. We're going to be asking people Would You Rather questions. Let's go check out what they said. His hair. I think the short hair would look cute on me. Teeth, I guess. I'd rather have my grandfather's hair. Yeah, it depends on if the Mandalorian's on. Mmm, Disney Plus. Disney Plus. Water. Oh, it's got to be fire. Water. Aliens. Robots. Aliens. Monkeys. Monkeys. It's got to be wolves. Come on now. Watch the movie. Read the book. Movie. Shout. Shout. I think that I would prefer to whisper. Four feet. Four feet, I'm a soccer player. Four feet. Taste. I'd rather be able to not smell. Smell. Oh, read minds, of course. Read everyone's minds. Read everyone's mind. And that's all for Would You Rather questions. Now, on to your announcements. Seven Steeman students received 11 awards at this year's Scholastic Art Competition. Congrats. Congrats to the Seaman High School debate team for their performance at 5A State. This was not an easy debate season, so give your best to these students for working hard. We are starting to verify names for diplomas. Please stop by the counselor's office to verify your name or email Ms. Conley. There will be FBLA meetings later this week. Check Schoology for more information. Viking Brew is now taking applications for additional staff. Freshmen through juniors can apply. Please be sure to check in to all the classes listed in Power School, even if you are planning on changing. Counselors are working hard on making changes, but with all the changes being made, it will take some time. Now over to sports. The girls wrestling team is now 2-9 on the season. Riley Murray took first place in the Centennial League. Congrats. The boys team has a record of 2-16. Keep working hard. There will be a softball inf informational meeting regarding preseason conditioning on Tuesday, January 19th in the band room from 3.23 to 4.03 p.m. In-person conditioning begins today on the soccer field from 4 to 5. Dress form. Now, over to weather with Zoe. Good afternoon, Vikings. We are going to be in the 50s for the next couple of days. Today is National Popcorn Day, so make sure to watch a movie tonight while eating popcorn. Today is going to be warmer with our temperatures reaching up into the higher 40s, even possibly touching the 50s by late this afternoon. For your SVTV 7-day forecast, we are going to be in the 50s for the next couple of days, and then we are going to cool back down to the 40s and stay there for the next week. Now back to your anchors. Thanks, Zoe. That's all for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your Tuesday.